Welcome back everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is a bit of a strange one because I'm pissed off, okay? I'm angry, I'm upset, and I normally just don't talk about random things that upset me or piss me off. I usually just talk about like ongoing dramas. So yeah, weird way to come back to my channel, right? I feel like I feel like this is a really strange way to come back. All right, all right. You guys are about to listen to me rant about my favorite football team, the Denver Broncos. Um, It's gonna sound super silly because we just won. <laughs> So I, I recorded this before Sunday, okay? I recorded this audio way before Sunday, like I believe Friday, Saturday, Friday, one of those days. And I just never got a chance to actually work on it because uh, this week has been birthday weeks for like literally me, my friends, my fiance. Like uh, for some reason, all my friends are born in September. So it's just, it's a lot of birthdays. So I just never really got to it. I didn't get to it, didn't really edit it at all until now. So yeah, and Denver won, okay? The Broncos, they beat the Bucks, beat the the shit out of them. You're going to hear me ranting about the play calling and everything about Sean Payton, about Bo Nix. You're going to be hearing me rant about all of it. Um, not like crazy ranting. Don't, don't think I'm some sort of couch coach. You know, I'm not, I understand that a lot of this stuff takes time and development. So I get it. That's what I was hoping for. And that's kind of looking like what's happening here in this game. Uh, I was just really happy with the results after this week. So I just thought I'd let you guys know. And all you got to do is just never stop Bo leaving. Don't stop believing in Bo. All right, Bo Nix, he's our savior. He's the one. Uh, Jaden Daniels looked insane on Monday night though. So, you know, I was kind of hoping he wouldn't because I wanted Bo to be the best rookie quarterback out of this class. But you know what? He played better than Caleb Williams. He did amazing this week. He beat the shit out of the Bucks. He threw some damn good passes. I was really proud of Bo. It was a really good game. But um, yeah, I'll just let you guys listen to me rant for about like 10 minutes or so. And then at the end of the video, I kind of give you guys some insight on why I haven't been uploading. And yeah, I'll, I'll just let it roll for you guys. But I have a bone to pick with my favorite NFL team, the Denver Broncos. Okay. Now my fans, I understand you guys probably don't watch football. Maybe you guys do. I have no fucking clue, uh, but I want to talk about it because I'm getting pissed off. Okay. And I'll go into detail about why I haven't uploaded in a while. All right. Now that you're seeing this video, hopefully I'll be uploading more. I got a little bit more time on my hands, but Jesus fucking Christ, this team is pissing me off and the fan base is pissing me off. Now, if you watch football, if you guys understand anything about sports, you little freaks, you little freakazoids. I know you guys like to sit on the internet all day. You probably don't even and watch a single ounce of sports uh, at all. You probably <laughs> you probably don't. But for the ones who do, this Denver Broncos team hasn't been good since we went to the Super Bowl back in like 2015. And we have been cycling through quarterbacks for years and years and years and years. And this year, we finally have a rookie quarterback that I'm 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 excited about. Now, this guy hasn't played good in the first two fucking games of the season. You want to know what the fan base does? They shit on the guy and say he's not the one. It has been two fucking games and everybody's already shitting on him. The main problem of this goddamn team is Sean fucking Payton and his terrible play calling. I'm getting fucking sick of it. It's terrible. He's not including anybody into the offense. He's not doing anything, okay? Our offense looks terrible because we keep trying to, you know, make plays with like the slowest players ever. And we have two guys. We drafted one of them and one that we drafted last year, I believe, who are insanely fast. We don't use them at all. It pisses me off till no end and we don't even run the football. The best part is we have like three, four running backs that are capable of running the ball fairly well and we don't do that. Even in this last game against the fuck Steelers, right? Tyler Beatty, the, the guy that we discovered in the preseason, who was pretty damn good, you know, rips a 16 yard run. And then for the rest of the game, we don't run him anymore. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? This, this team blows my mind. Now, like I said, for anybody who watches football and anybody here who actually is a Broncos fan, you know, welcome to the channel, but I don't talk about sports often. I'm just pissed. And I want to talk about something I want to talk about, uh, as a way to come back because I'm just upset, uh, at this team. I've just been watching them. They piss me off. They're pissing me off right now. But one thing I, to take note, of, right, is that it's two games into the season. You know, last year we struggled at the beginning and then we had like some massive turnaround and then we ended the year eight and nine. I hope that doesn't happen again because low-key, I want Sean Payton out of here. I think he's a terrible coach. His coaching and his scheme is fucking god-awful, at least from what I'm seeing right now. Maybe he's just trying to get an idea of what he wants, but I mean, I don't know why you're doing that in the regular season. You should have been doing that in the off season, in the preseason. I, I don't know what the fuck he's doing. Our defense looks incredible. It's really depressing knowing that Vance Joseph, after what he did to us a couple years back is now back in Denver as the DC and now he's the savior of the fucking team because the defense is the only good thing about our team right now. Our defense is impeccable and it's a waste of talent. They are dominating. We hold the Steelers to 13 points and even against the Seahawks, yes 26 points seem like a lot but for the most part the entire game we were locking them up and we had two safeties. Our defense was incredible and for some reason Sean just can't get anything rolling with the offense and it pisses me
pisses me off. And don't get me wrong, Bo, Bo Nix looks terrible. Okay, Bo Nix looks fucking god awful uh, in these first two games. There are some passes that he should improve on, but he's a rookie, okay? He's a fucking rookie in his first two starts of his career. I don't expect much, right? I know he's 24 years old and he should know the game better than any other rookie quarterback, but what blows my goddamn mind about anybody in the NFL is that Bo Nix is terrible, right? Everyone here is going to sit here and say, Bo Nix is not the one. He's just terrible. But Caleb Williams could do the same thing as Bo Nix, and everybody's just like, oh, he's got the rookie jitters. He's just a rookie. God damn it. They're the same fucking, they're both rookies. They're both fucking rookies. You need to have the same energy for every damn rookie quarterback. Keep in mind, all the rookie quarterbacks that have played so far haven't thrown a touchdown pass, yet Bo Nix is the worst out of all of them because what? I don't even know. Like, sure, yes, he's, he is the worst. I'm not, I'm not going to argue against that. Okay, Jaden Daniels is definitely the best one out of the three, and Bo is definitely the worst. But again, he's on a team that is way worse than the Bears. The Bears loaded that offense with receivers, and Caleb can't do shit. He can't do anything. Bo Nix has, like, guys that just got off work from, like, 7-Eleven, and you guys are thinking he's terrible. We don't have any playmakers. We have none. Well, we do. We do have playmakers. I mentioned it earlier, but fucking Sean Payton doesn't want to play them. Fucking nine snaps. Nine for Marvin Mims. He had 11 against the Seahawks. Everyone and their mother was screaming to start Marvin Mims and let him play more, and then he had nine. He had two less snaps the week after. What are we doing? What are we doing? Now, I don't want to come off as a couch coach, right? I, I'm not master of the game, but I mean, I think any NFL fan or anybody of that matter who pays close attention to their favorite team can understand what players they like the most. And no offense to the guys on our team, but I'm just going to list it out for you here. Devon Vele looked great. I like Devon Vele. He's a great receiver. We should use him more. He did. He, I think he was hurt for this game, so I get it. But Josh Reynolds and Cortland Sutton, they're obvious. But why the fuck is Lil Jordan Humphreys in the game? Lil Jordan Humphreys is on the starting lineup, and he was picked up off the practice team before this game. I'm not hating on him. He did pretty decent, actually, for a guy that just got picked up off the practice squad. But why is he coming in at more snaps than Marvin Mims? Mims is Mims has been on the team the whole time. He's been starting. He's been sitting here. What are we doing? What the fuck? What is happening? I Is there something that we're missing from Mims? Like, is he just not a good receiver? Like, is he just terrible in practice and he's only a special teams guy or something? Like, I don't get it. Like, we drafted him for the purpose of being that speedy guy because he's fucking really fast and he's good. And the one play he had a catch in this game, he took it from being a two-yard reception to like a 10-yard reception, which is exactly what we need. And Sean Payton is just like, nah, I'm not going to do it. And then instead of trying out all of our running backs, we use fucking Javante 11 times and he doesn't get anything because it's so fucking predictable. I, I, just bear with me, guys. Listen, I, you guys might not be football guys, but bear with me. I'm getting angry, okay? And for the ones who are football fans, you might understand my pain. You know what? Like, am I overreacting here? Am I overreacting? I know it's two games into the season, but I think we look terrible. I think we look like one of the worst teams in the league simply because the play calling is just terrible. I, I don't know what the play calling, that's the prop that I have. It's the play calling. The play calling is terrible. And I, I don't know how Bo Nix is going to succeed in a fucking offense that can't play call worth shit. Sure, he does need to change up those red zone interceptions. He's had two of them now and it's bad. But again, he's a rookie. He's going to make those mistakes, but we're barely getting opportunities in the end zone. If he had more opportunities in the end zone, I'm sure he's going to throw a few touchdown passes compared to interceptions. Okay. Like, but we only get like one end zone opportunity, like once in a blue moon. I think we've had three so far. Like it's ridiculous. We've only scored one touchdown in two weeks and it was Bo Nix's rushing touchdown. What, what is happening? I had to rant about it. Okay, guys. All right. I know this is a weird way to come back to the channel. I say come back like as if I left. Technically I did. I haven't uploaded in like, I think two to three weeks. Uh, like I said, I'll give you a little explanation here. I've just been working. I've, I've been at my job a lot. I've been busting my ass because I need money. I'm going to keep it a buck 50 with you. I'm going to keep it real. Okay. Uh, you know, I need money and you know, a 1k sub channel is not generating revenue. Okay. For a household. Cause I live in a home. I moved from my apartment to a house, right? That me and my fiance are in now. So that was kind of a big thing. I took a lot of time away from being able to create content as of recently though. I've just been lazy. I'm going to keep it real with you. I've just been kind of lazy and I just haven't been making content. And also there's just not much to talk about. I kind of miss the Mr. B stuff due to the fact that I was moving and because I was working a lot. Like I was working practically every single day. It was, it was a pain in my ass, but it was nice. It was nice. I like the job that I'm working now. It's, it's perfectly fine job and I get to work with my friends. So it's, it's, it's really nice, but just working every day. It's exhausting. Okay. But it, it was good. I got the bag. I'm making money, better money now. So, I mean, that's great, right? But that doesn't mean I'm going to stop making YouTube videos. I just needed some time. I'm finally in a position where I think I'll be good to go. Like I'll have days off here and I'll have like time where I can just make a video. I mean, I have to go to work 
today. But I have time to, you know, edit this up, put this together and whatnot. But I mean, yeah, the simple explanation, I know that I keep saying in videos, oh, I'm gonna do this or I'm gonna do that. Or I keep saying it in specific things that I'm gonna do this or that. I'm not gonna make any like promises anymore. I'm just gonna keep it real with you. I don't know because I have no clue how the schedule is gonna look past this video uh, for work and whatnot. I'm gonna try my best to make videos, but there's just not a lot happening right now. Like I said, that's kind of why I've been lazy is because there's just not a lot to talk about. I don't really give a fuck about the Ali Coca drama. And like I said, for the Mr. B stuff, I've been streaming it. I haven't really been, you know, making videos on it. If you, if you pay attention to my channel, you know, my Mr. Beast videos or whatnot, it's not videos, but they're on my live section. So like I have been talking about it somewhat. I keep, I kind of keep up to date with it, but I just haven't been making videos on it, which I want to do, but, and I do want to make like a bigger video right now about the entirety of it, but it just, it feels kind of dead without some new context or something. So to be honest with you, I might leave it at that. We'll see. I do have a video that I was working on and that I'm still working on. That was about a old drama that still piques my interest. It's about the Dead by Daylight community. It was a group of people who were being like shitty. I know it's extremely old drama, but you know, I, I feel interested in the topic and I put a lot of effort into it while I was working. It's like, it was like a 30 minute recording session. It was kind of annoying and I just, I want to get it done and then uploaded because I feel like, I feel like I, I, I feel like I should. I, I wasted my time doing it. So why not upload it? I know it's extremely late and it's going to look extremely late because again, the dates on this is like a month ago or so. So it's, a, it's super long, but anyways, guys, I don't want to keep you guys waiting or sitting here rambling on about random stuff. Yeah. I, I normally don't make videos where I'm just kind of talking about whatever I want to talk about. I usually just talk about random dramas. I kind of want to do this more often where I just talk about random things that piss me off. Like if my favorite football team uh, doesn't get their shit together, I might rant about it, you know, after, <laughs> after Sunday this week. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. You know, I don't care if they win or lose at this point. I just want to see and prove. That's it. That's it. Uh, that's all I care about. But anyways, guys, I apologize for not being around uh, very often. I do. It's, it's like I left, you know, I, I left to get the milk and I just never returned. Okay. Uh, I apologize for that. I've just been going through a lot of stuff. Every time I move from one house to the next house, it's like a fucking, it's like a storm hits and I just can't upload videos. I just lose the momentum and it sucks. But this time I feel like I have a proper excuse because I've just been working a lot. So I've been putting my focus on making money instead. I want to make money here though. You know, I want to make money here and there and just make as much money as I can. So I want to get back into this. So if you guys are still around, thank you for understanding. I will get back to making more videos more often. Okay. I promise. Well, I did just say I'm done making promises, but I do promise that I will get back into making videos. I promise that I'm not like quitting, I guess is the promise. I'm not like quitting YouTube. I want to do YouTube. I just, you know, give me some time. Okay. Give me some time. I'll get there. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time.